I can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. All right, for question 27 here, it says locate the centroid of the uh, Y bar of the shaded area, which is uh, connected to question 26. Um, there are two ways to solve this problem. Um, the first one is called the flip, uh, flip the square method. The square method. You get the idea. <laughs> and um, the second one is uh, taking using the um, half of uh, what's going on over here, right? So like finding the centroid of the little rectangles. So using finding centroid of triangles of uh, dx. Right. What that means is I will uh, show you as we go on. So the first method is flip the square method. So you know how we're taking calculus, right? We're taking like one bar over here, and this is dx, and this is um, one over x. So one over four times x squared, right? And this gives you the area, and we sum all of these up, then it gives you, you know, the area, right? Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, this equation over here, so we're finding the area, as we said, dx times this, right? 1 over 4x squared times dx. And uh, we integral, so what's the, dom what's the domain here? From 0 to, to 4, right? From 0 to 4, and this gives us the, um, oh, sorry, we're using method 2 right now, sorry. We're going to use method 2 over here. So solve for this, um, move out the 1 over 4 over here for 0 x to the power of 2 dx um, x to the power of 3 over 3 uh, from 4 to 0 and uh, times 1 over 4 this whole thing uh, should give you let's see, so 4 x to the 2 16 over 3 right, 16 over 3 feet squared and up here it's um, taking times times a y, right? But we don't know what y is. You know, we have to using so you know we're, we're, sorry, we're using we're finding the centroid of y, right? And of what of this little rectangle over here, right? And half of that is just over here, right? It's always the half of you know because it's a square and the centroid of the y is always the half of that. The height of the square I mean the rectangle so 1 over 4 x square times 1 over 2 this gave us 1 over 8 x uh, square right and we can plug that into this over here and uh, we'll be good to go so let's see 1 over 8 x square times uh, 1 over 4 x square and we integrate this from 0 to 4 and uh, dx, right? And um, that should give us, let's see, 1 over 32, so wait, just one, 1 over 32 uh, x to the fourth to the integral of this, right? dx, that should give us um, x to the power of 5 over. Uh, 5 integral of 4, oh, sorry, now we can write it over here, 4, 0, right, and if we continue, uh, x to the 4 to the, 4 to the power of 5, right, and divided by 32, this gives us 32 uh, over 5, right, and um, we times, so this divided by 16 over 3, right, um, we flip the thing, so that's 3 over 5, and this, there's a 2, so times a 2 over here, right, so then that gives us a 6 over 5, right, yep, 2 times 3 divided by 4, yep, it was uh, 6 over 5. This is the method of finding the half of the y, so without flipping the strips, right? And now we can do the question by 
Um, so now we have to write the equation in terms of y, right? So this is, sorry, in terms of x. So this is in terms of y, and um, so 4y square root of that, you know, make x independent, so that's 2y square root of y equals x, and then use this equation to do the problem. Now we cannot just plug this number back into this equation uh, over here, right? It has to be, because we're doing it from like this way for x, right, for y, we're gonna have to do it, you know, we're, we're gonna do it from this way because this is the equation over here, right? We're not looking at it from, you know, this perspective, right? We're not looking at it like, you know, the eyeball method, right? We're looking at it from here. I hope you guys can see this eyeball, right? We're looking at it from this way. So the area we're gonna look, uh, find out in the end, it's gonna be like using this uh, over here. It's gonna give us like uh, area for the white part, not the blue part. So what we have to do is, um, so let's just write an equation for dA so I can simplify it down, right? In reality, it should be just integration of 2y. Right? But that would be the white area over here, not the blue area. So what can we do? We can use 1 minus 2 half y, right? Oh, y equals to 4, my bad. This will give you a line uh, y equals 4, right? And then we use the domain 0 to 4, which um, calculate the area of this rectangle over here, right? So y equals 4, and um, this should be good. So uh, find the derivative. I mean, integral of this, it would be 4y um, minus. So 2 comes out, right? And then y to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1. 3 over 2 times 2 over 3, y to the power of 3 over 2, right? Like this, and then this is 4, 0, and this is 4, 0, right? Plug this in, this gives you 16, see? Minus, um, let's see, I think this equals 4 to the power of, so that's 8, 8 times 2, times 2, 32, divided by 3, right? 32 over 3, 16, so... So that would be 42 over 3, 42 minus 32, uh, wait, uh, 48 minus 32, that should give us 16 over 3, right? And look, exactly the same, right? Exactly the same. So that means we're on the right track. And then we have to move on to the upper part of the equation, right? Which is... Um, uh, uh, y times 4 minus 2y uh, square rooted and this whole thing, yeah, an integral of this one, right? So what what is this going to be? Is 0, 4y, oh, sorry, just going to be, yeah, 4y minus the integral of 0 to 4 from and y times this equals 2 times 4, we can move up to 2, and um, x to the power of 1 over half, 1 over 2 plus 1, so that's 3 over 1, 3 over 2, sorry, and do the integral from here, that would be um, 2y squared, right? Find the derivative, gives you 4y, from 4 to 0, minus, um, let's see, it's going to be a little interesting. So it would be y to the power of 5 over 2 times 2 times 2 over 5, and over here it's... So over here is 4 to 0, right? 4 to 0. So uh, this is 16. 16 times 2 of 32 minus, um, let's see, 4 to the power of 32. 32, 128 divided by 5, right? And um, this is going to be a little interesting. 32 times 5 minus 128. That gives you 32 over 5. Hey, look at that. This is equal to this on over here, right? This equals that. So perfect. Uh, I'll do the same thing as before, right? Using the 
this area divided by the area we calculated before, 16 over 3, right? Uh, flip it, do 1 plus 2, uh, this becomes 1, and then equals uh, 6 over 5, right? Feet. Perfect. So using two methods, uh, flip the flip the square and not flipping the square, I would sincerely suggest you guys to use the first equation, right? The second one is just for further excuse me, for the learning, right? And if you're able to understand this one really well, then maybe try this one because it will help you in the future. It just understand the calculus uh, on a very, a deeper level, right? So good luck on your studies and uh, hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.